What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Overdose. I'm your host, Don J. Today, I'm joined with a special guest. Introduce yourself. Hey, everybody. Alyssa Martinez here. All right, Alyssa. Earlier in the conversation, I mean, earlier before the video, we was talking about alphas and alpha stuff in general. You told me earlier that you were alpha female. What exactly does that mean? <sighs> alpha female, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. For me, I guess it would mean that I'm not going to take shit from a man. That's okay. what it means for me. It means that I'm very strong and I stand alone. Okay. So I feel like if anybody is going to be my partner, they, they got to come with a whole lot. Okay, what is a whole lot? A whole lot. Like, What's a whole lot? Ooh, first of all, we can't both be crazy. So I <laughs> Oh, so you're going to take that spot. So <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm going to take it. Okay. I'm going to take it. I'm, you know what? We can't... We, I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. I have okay. a bad attitude. Like I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Everybody mm -hmm. knows it. Like, just I'm very nice. I have mm -hmm. a bad attitude, but I can't have I can't be with somebody that has a worse attitude than me. Gotcha. We can't both okay. be on the same wave. I need so you need something that balances you out. Yes, and I don't okay. think an alpha. If if, if if I don't think an alpha male is for me, because mm -hmm. I'm not ready to step down. Okay, so you looking for a bitch? Are you looking no! for a beta? No, 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 no. He can still be an alpha male, but in a certain extent, because, like, you could be an alpha male in what you do. You know what I mean? You could be an alpha mm -hmm. male in your with your emotions. You know what I mean? Okay. It just depends. Emotionally, I don't want an alpha male. I don't want anyone to say, look, you're going to listen to whatever I say. Mm. Like, I'm not the type of person to bully anybody. I'm not mm -hmm. going to tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. but I just don't want you to have no control over me. Like, I'm going to do what I want to do regardless. You know, relationships don't work majority of times like that. <laughs> if the female is in charge and leading, relationships don't work. So you think a man should lead? 100%. Yes. Why do you think that? Because that's the natural order of things. <laughs> that's the natural <laughs> way of things. Now, if um, is he worthy of leadership? That's a different conversation. But a man should always be the leader. Because if you're a female and you look at a man and he's not leading and you leading, you lose attraction for him. Majority of the time. And I'm just keeping it real. <sighs> exactly facts over here so but the video that we about to watch is the number one thing that kills game with women now before we jump into the video what is the number one thing that kills game with women like for for guys what do you see that guys do from your perspective that kills game with women throwing your money in my face i hate mm. that so it's leading like, with money yeah if you have money that's mm. cool just don't flaunt it like gotcha. You could represent a, a girl's gonna like that you're successful regardless. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. gonna appreciate that. They're gonna respect that you're putting in the work. But don't throw your money in my face. I don't fucking like that shit. Like, okay. I, uh, everyone's gonna do that. There's so many guys out here that are doing that. Like, yeah. what makes you different from all of them? A mm. bunch of people have money. Like, mm -hmm. why should I pick you? <laughs> a but you know what? Mm. A bunch of people surprised. have money. Okay. That is that doesn't mean I'm gonna settle for somebody that doesn't have money. Got you. I'm just saying a bunch of people have money out okay. here. Okay. Okay, got you. So if you are trying to talk to me, mm -hmm. I already know that people have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people that want to talk to me have mm -hmm. a lot of money. Okay. And that's fine. Don't throw it in my face. I don't need it. Okay. Like, so don't lead that, with money. That's a plus for sure. Mm -hmm. But don't, don't be like, hey, this is what I have to offer. Like, got you. Okay. So just don't lead with money. Okay. Now we're going to get into what he's going to say and you're just going to give us your perspective. All right. Let's <laughs> okay. get it. No sports. No what? You didn't catch no sports? Hey, you didn't catch no sports. Oh, no, I don't watch sports. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. How was your weekend? It was all right. Got a little rest. Okay. Yeah. How, how was your day? How was your day? It was all right. Um... Ah! Hold on. Let's just first talk about the, the beginning. Okay, so I'm guessing he's trying to show people how to talk to a female to get her on a date. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. Is that what he was doing? It sounded a little boring, but okay, I get it. I get it 100%. Um, but let's continue. Mm -mm. <laughs> What's up, fellas? Oh, so no. I had a loyal patient supporter off of my last vlog when I was talking about uh, where do I rank <laughs> as far as on the What do you keep saying? I keep Why hearing like noises. Alpha male, though? Huh? <laughs> Why gotta be alpha male? Like, no, it's uh, alpha male strategies. Strategies? That's even mm. worse. Y'all got strategies now? That's nuts. <sighs> How are you, men and sexual? They gonna rush you in the comments. I'm just letting you know. Oh, no. that shit. He Damn. wanted to know exactly what then. is. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I'm straight up. They straight up. It's about to be crazy. Sexual charisma. And yeah. <laughs> exactly how do you get it? 
So let me break this shit down. All right, guys. Like I've explained before, you have, in my opinion, three type of charisma. Sexual mm. charisma, okay. entertainment charisma, and friendly charisma. Okay. Sexual charisma is the charisma that you have with women. This is going to be the one that allows you to charm women pants off. Mm. Now, here's the thing, guys. Uh, and I bought that back because a support asked me to bring it back. So I bought that. Okay. Here's the thing, guys, out of retirement. But I'll try to keep it to just one or twice a video instead of like every five seconds. But anything, anyway, here's the thing, guys. With sexual charisma, you can go two approaches, guys. You got two approaches you can try, okay? You can try to uh, make her laugh, and you can take that as... Now, the, the, the thing with me when you try to make a woman laugh... I take that more as a friendly charisma, hmm. even though That's a good step it's in. not exactly. Say that again. That's a good step in. That's a good foot through the door for sure. Hmm. That's funny, that's tricky though because being of, funny. Mm -mm. Either way, if you're funny, I'm gonna fuck with you because you're making me laugh. So even if yeah, I don't but fuck, fuck with you, you listen, fuck with even fuck you. Even if I don't <laughs> fuck with you at that level. You already got your foot in the door. You're funny. I like funny people. I mm. like to laugh. Life okay. is serious. Why not laugh about it? Got you. So even if I accept the... Being accepted is point one. Mm. That's the foot through the door. Okay. Like, if I already think you're funny, I'm like, okay, you're cool. I can hang out with you. Mm -hmm. So you you might hang out with me again. And then we might, you know, you never know. Okay. I want to be very clear. <laughs> when you say we can hang out, we can hang out again, meaning that you can... We can hang can... out as friends. And you could work your way from there, like... See, that's a uphill that's battle. The, that's the problem with men. They don't want to wait. They're impatient. Mm. They want what they want. They want it now. Mm. Understood. A lot of people want whatever they want right away. Mm. But anything good is worth waiting for. <laughs> she was digging for that comment. That comment was in. All right. So for you personally, you can not be physically attracted to a guy right away. And that attraction can build with time Absolutely. for you personally. Absolutely. Okay. Do you I've find that so to be true for other groups. women? No. Hmm? Not for other women. What do you mean? Everyone likes what they like. Like, got you. There's okay. a lot of women that are not gonna. They're gonna go straight for the bag. They're mm -hmm. gonna go straight for the looks. They're okay. gonna go straight for whatever you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I feel like personally, mm -hmm. I've been with some ugly fools. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Oh, but oh, because they had like personalities. Right. Got you. Oh my gotcha. gosh. I remember. Um, can I? Can I tell you? <laughs> oh, hold on. Tell me after. It's because let's stay on topic on Ooh, this let's one. Go, let's go. You're trying to make friends. It's more of a friendly charisma opposed to the sexual charisma. The sexual charisma, guys, is the charisma that causes a woman to respect you. It's a difference to me. Now, guys, ain't none of you motherfuckers funnier than me. In my fucking opinion, I don't even know you motherfuckers, but I find it hard fish to believe one of you motherfuckers funnier than me. I done tried the funny route plenty of times, and I done fucked plenty of women off of going the funny route. And I am telling you right now that I've always gotten a better response with the masculine frame charisma mm. opposed to the mm. Kevin Hart charisma. Every what? fucking time. Whenever I What what is your perspective? Ugh. Because there's a difference between like being funny and being like the dancing monkey kind of thing. There's yeah. a difference between being funny and friendly and being like cool crack jokes every once in a while. Yeah, I like funny people. I, I like to laugh, but I don't know. Sometimes a bad boy looks good too, you know. So I don't know. Hmm. I'm I'm stuck. I'm, I'm stuck. stuck. <laughs> I tried to go that funny route or make a woman laugh. Is always taking more dates, and I don't hmm. ever remember yeah. getting my dick up. I am just <laughs> telling. You. Exactly. <laughs> Hold on. Let's let's let her, um them cook a little bit. It's something about that masculine frame, seductive frame, that causes a woman. She goes. She 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 does more. For one, guys. For one, when you doing that Kevin Hart route, trying to be a comedian and shit, and, and we let's just take the 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 the, the um testing and shit out of it. It's almost like you being a try hard. Mm. And so it's almost yeah. like validating a little bit because you basically being her entertainer for the night. I like that. So though. by you, we, no, no, wait, what? I, I like that though because I'm an alpha female. That's what we like. We want somebody God. to, you know, chase us. But That's do you fuck want. those dudes? Just or no? Not right away. Mm, okay. On what percentage would you Lucky say? Lucky if we'll get there. Mm -hmm. But you enjoy my company on the way. 
what I'm saying. <laughs> no, that's not how this works. Okay. I know. I think he's right. I'm sad. <laughs> you see? <laughs> right. Exactly. It's like, we out here. We out here. Let's continue. What ha- y'all guys know what happens when you validate women. When they feel validation. And it, basically, they know you like them. Y'all guys know how women act when they know, know you like them. They play hard to get. Yeah. Opposed sure. to when you play that masculine frame, laid back, more subdued frame, they are wondering where you at. They don't know where, where, where they stand with you. They don't even know if you like them. Mm-hmm. And you're kind of acting like, bitch, you beneath me. That's what you kind of acting like. And you'll see the woman will be searching for validation the whole fucking night. So you, uh, you having fun? You'll see. When you, when you go that mm. entertainment route, Mm. You be you be trying to read her. When you go mm. that masculine frame, seductive frame route, she be trying to read you because she don't know where you stand. So guys, I'm telling you right now. And so what ends up happening? This is how you get her to suck your dick and all this shit because she's trying to suck the validation out of you. That's what <laughs> she's trying to do. Do you know what validation means? You can give me your summary of it. Um, well, we, on this side of YouTube, we use validation um, in terms of, uh, I guess, it's, it's not really compliments, but that's the best way I can explain it. Like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. That's validation. Oh my God, you're so hot. That's validation. that they like you. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So for you personally, do you, in your past, do you see that people who validated you got with you or do you see the ones that kind of held it back got with you? I've seen both. Both mm. both ends. Okay. I've seen um, I've seen people that liked me from jump, mm-hmm. and they made it a point like, hey, like I like you. Okay. And I'm like, mm, okay, let's see what this person's talking about. Okay. And then um, there's been guys that will say like, mm, you're cool, mm-hmm. and they'll play it off cool, and I'm like, damn, like. What's up with him? Mm. Like, I'm mm. a little curious. Like, yeah. especially if you know you're bad, it's even worse. Yeah. It's even worse because you're like, okay, obviously he has to be attracted to me. Mm. Obviously. Okay. So he's not going out of his way. Like, what's up? What's the issue? Like, hmm. you don't like me? Mm-hmm. Maybe you don't know me enough. Let me show you a little bit more. Hmm. You know? So you just agreed like 100%. Yeah, I did. Okay. But you know what? What I have to do say is he is correct. But I think if you go the funny way, you'll get a wife. If you go the stern way, you'll get somebody to suck your dick. Okay, boom. Okay, that's a whole nother conversation that we maybe do behind the scenes. But for us men, wife is not what we are looking for. As well as logic and data, data shows that even being married for a guy, especially one that has the most money and that's one that has like the breadwinner of it, you lose more often than you win when you try to get married. But that's a different conversation. Let's continue. She's trying to get you to like her. When you do the validation, oh, she, she do the bare minimum. You might get the ass by the fifth date because she knows where she's staying. So this is, this is what happens, guys, when you try to go the Kevin Hart route opposed to the masculine frame seductive. No, matter of fact, let's get, we can touch on this really briefly because I do have a question that I, I wouldn't say hate, but it kind of boggles my mind to the way y'all think. Let me ask this question. All right, so if you got a, a guy... That you fun with. Let me just tell you, I was not mentally prepared for this. <laughs> yeah, don't no, worry. No. You never. You should have told me ahead of time, and I would have had some questions. No, s- some or questions. I told you it's just a conversation. Don't even worry. All right, so you like to have fun, right? Allegedly. Okay. All right. Everybody likes to have fun. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna ask you directly. Have you ever had a threesome? But put this in your mind. Put this in your head. Would you have a threesome with a guy that you barely knew versus? A guy that's really been treating you right and y'all were in a relationship. Which one would you have a threesome with first? Neither. I don't want to do that. If you had to choose. Well, I feel like someone that I know for a long time is going to hold more value than somebody that I don't know for a long time. Okay. And if I'm with you for a long time, obviously I want you to myself. See what I mean? So, so, uh, I don't so want to share you. Exactly. Be so, mad. <laughs> so that makes sense. So that's no- why you all want to stay on that end. Exactly. I see that. Yeah. But yeah. That's the problem. The is? problem is that you're never going to be satisfied. What do you mean? Because if if you have your partner, mm-hmm. 
if you chose that person to be in your life, mm -hmm. they should be able to fill all the voids or if not more mm. voids than somebody else that can't. You know, that's if, if you're picking your, your partner wisely. Mm. So I'm like, damn, like, that's not enough for you? For you most, need more? Yes. You need more? For guys, we need variety. For I women, ain't never going to get married. <laughs> <laughs> for guys, we need variety and, and quantity. That's what we look I for. And that. for females, it's it's quality. So that's why it's like, you know, the, the most best guy you can that's get. so if, sad. That's just life. Okay, but I'm the point, Jenny, the point I'm trying to make is... The person that is treating you right, doing everything right, and being the best version for you, and blah blah blah, he's getting less than what the other guy who's just maybe, you know, one night stand type or the asshole quote unquote type. So why would you be the? I'm not gonna cook for the asshole quote unquote type. Though. I don't know. That... I'm not gonna do that. Mm. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. I'm not gonna clean for them. I'm okay. Not gonna do their laundry. Okay. We're not gonna share the same bed. Like it's different. Mm. Like. Mm mm. Hmm. Definitely disagree. <laughs> there's there's uh, been a lot of times where the, the bad quote unquote guy still gets all the other traits of the cooking and cleaning and the wife, etc. All that, as well as the fun, you know, having hey, you good did times. You fucking research or what? What? You did your research or what? Yes. <laughs> I, I, do this, I do this for a living. Wow. <laughs> of course. But anyway, I digress. Let's continue on with the video. You cried wow. by the end of this. You said what? <laughs> what ends up happening is, Woo. since she knows where you, she stands with you, she'll put you on a back burner because she knows you like her, and she'll be giving more of her attention to this guy that's more of a challenge. Do y'all guys grasp that? Now, the reason I wanted to bring this up in there too, because I know some of you guys are just yeah. dying to want to be comedians on these dates, and you can. I fuck women being funny on these dates. I won't lie to you. I have. But I see here and I tell you, to a man, it's much fucking harder, guys. Hmm. It is way fucking hard. That's why I'd rather for y'all guys to do the, the masculine frame, seductive frame. Okay, guys? But that is the sexual charisma, guys. Now, how you get this sexual charisma, guys, is another thing. Now, first of all, guys, to get this sexual charisma, you have to feel sexy. Hmm. You have to feel it. If you don't feel sexy, the way you your actions and how you carry yourself... It is going to go directly to your fucking confidence. That's how you're going to fucking act. Hmm. If you don't feel sexy, you have to fucking feel fucking sexy. I don't give a fuck how you do it. I don't give a fuck if it's your clothes. I don't give a fuck if you have to go to the gym three times a fucking day. I don't give a fuck what you have to do. But if you don't feel sexy, you won't act sexy. And notice the word is sexual charisma. You have to feel sexy. You're ba basically acting sexy. I know for a fact that when, when my weight starts to trickle up a little bit, I do not feel as sexy and it comes out in my behavior, my body language. When I feel slim and trim, I act slim and trim. <laughs> now, I always got my confidence. but like Is confidence a very big component for you dealing with a guy? Absolutely. Okay, so if a guy is not like super duper confident, like he just said, versus someone who really is confident, you can tell right away and be like, I don't really want to mess with a person who's not confident. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to walk all over somebody that's not confident. Okay. Sadly. Got gotcha. you. Like, okay. So you personally want to have someone that's like... Confident. At okay. least, you know, love yourself. Okay. Normal. Not, not anything over. I could deal with your... With over, but... Okay. Um, oh, so you're saying you can deal it over, but you can't deal it under. Mm -mm, not no. under. For, no, no. I'll walk all over you. I'll probably be mean to you. Like, honestly, I don't trust myself. I could be mean. Gotcha. So I don't, I don't want to be mean to nobody, you know? Mm -hmm. So just be confident. <laughs> Love okay. yourself. Or I could boost somebody. Who knows? You never know, honestly, until you're there, I yeah. guess. Yeah, that's true. Okay. But for sure not under. I don't know. All right. No, I got you. I got you. I get it. Like I say, I'll be sitting up here lying and telling you if I told you that I have the same confidence at 250 pounds as I do at 220 pounds. That would be a bold-faced lie. Okay, guys? Now, the next, don't date women you have a low attraction to. Hmm. You have, listen, if you were the woman you have a low attraction to, it don't bring the seduction out of you. If you date a woman that you perceive as a six or a seven, <laughs> What ends up happening is you don't have that sexual energy 
See what what happens, guys? Is hmm. I don't disagree with that. Well, you, you said what? That sucks, but I don't disagree. Mm. I don't disagree. There's levels to this. Got gotcha. you. Sure. What do you mean? What do you mean? Explain it to me. Oh, I don't want to be freaking shallow. No, go ahead. But I'm not gonna lie and say I haven't been with someone that's ugly because they had a good personality. Because I'd be a lie. Okay, but but. <laughs> I remember one time sitting and staring at this person like, damn, this fool's ugly. Like, oh, I don't want to bring him home. I don't want my family to see this dude. He's tore up. Like, they're going to laugh at me. Like, mm, there's levels to this. And then I've met guys and I'm like, mm, you're cute. I could, mm -hmm. you know, my grandma's not going to be mad. <laughs> my grandma's not going to be mad. <laughs> okay. Got you. Got you. Woo. You just the selling <laughs> or doing something to a pastime. You don't put the same effort. You, you want to shout out his name? I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Do y'all guys <laughs> grasp that? See, the number, the, the number one reason why a lot of you guys can't maintain a masculine frame is because it takes effort. Mm. It actually takes effort. It's actually easy to be goofy. That would be so messy. It takes, you said what? That would be so messy if I did that. <laughs> oh, you still think about that? <laughs> no, but what he, what he was talking about... Um, with the frame thing do you like someone to be i don't know always like cool calm collective in the masculine flame per se versus um goofiness like he was talking about uh i know you have a struggle with the two but if you had to choose and you you personally had to choose and one disappears and one stays which one would you actually stay with? i'd rather be mad at you for being too fucking funny okay than be mad at you for being too serious okay like so gotcha. yeah, I'd rather you be funny than serious all the time because I've had people drive me crazy like, why are you so quiet right now? Yeah. Like, it's pissing me off. Mm. Like, don't talk. Do something. Take up the space. Like, we're Take both up. here. Like, okay, come on. got you. I don't okay. want to be bored. Okay. That's for sure. I need to be entertained. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> Effort to be act masculine. Do y'all guys grasp that? It's easy to act goofy. Just act like a damn jackass all fucking day. It actually takes a conceited effort to act like a fucking man. Because oh. how society is, how everything is, how feminized everything is. Mm. So it's easy to just be playful and goofy. It's actually more work to be a fucking man, to act masculine. And when you with a woman that you have a low attraction to, you don't want to put that effort in. That's mm. too much fucking work. I don't want to have to sit up and act masculine with a girl I got a little fucking attraction to. Yeah, that sucks. Mm. But when you're with a woman that you see as a 9 or a 10, you naturally enter that seductive frame. Now, some of you guys going to enter that quiet frame. Mm. Don't confuse that quiet frame with seductive frame. Because a lot of women will think that quiet frame is no confidence. Hmm. Do y'all guys grasp that? And what y'all do is y'all go sit on a date and you being a mute thinking that you being seductive. No, you're showing no confidence. Nice. I talk on dates, guys. I'm not sitting there like a fucking mute. I'm not sitting there like the Terminator. I talk on dates. You know what? I don't trust him. You said what? Now I know his face now. I'm going to look out for my friends. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait. Hold on, wait, if wait. I see his face again, be like, look, it's a setup. It's a setup. Don't sell. trust him. Oh my God! What are you saying? I'm so he confused. He ain't wrong. Right now. Uh -huh. He ain't wrong. But okay. it looks like he goes on a lot of dates. <laughs> mm, I got you. Can't trust him. Mm, okay. Okay. No Let's continue. Y'all guys understand that? I I actually have a conversation on the fucking dates. Sitting there acting like a mute is not me being seductive. That's me not being confident. And if you out with a nine or a ten and you're not saying nothing, she's not gonna think you're being seductive and charming. She's gonna think you fucking nervous. Mm. So you have to open your fucking mouth. Learn how to carry a conversation in a masculine frame. Do y'all guys understand that? So that's the number one thing, guys, is you have to feel sexy and you have to date women you have a high attraction to. Next, date women that have a high attraction in you. Mm. If you're dating women that sees you as a six or a seven, they body language and the way they act won't allow you to be seductive with them. Mm -hmm. They're going to be kind of standoffish a little bit. They ain't going to be, they, the whole conversation yeah. and everything, the whole interaction is going to feel like you out with a girl that views you as a six or a seven. Now that's fine and things like that because for a first date, if a woman sees you as a six or a seven, that's fine. 
I, I listen because I believe that you can raise it, you know, one or two levels on the first date. So if you go out with a woman that sees you as a six on the first date, I see nothing wrong with that because if you do everything right by the end of that first date, it can easily be an eight if you do everything right. So I have no problem with that because a lot of women, it, a lot of women don't put a lot of basis on looks. So a woman could see you as a six, but a lot of women don't base a lot of their, you know, interaction off of what you look like. They basically. Hmm. So he said a lot of different things. What are your perspective of what he just said about the looks thing and about um, perceiving some guy as looks and raising the attraction on a date? I think men and women are different in 100%. the way they uh, approach things for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. For me personally, I think that I don't always go for the looks because mm. it's men are more shallow than women are. Men are more what? They're more shallow than okay. we are. I think that looks are a lot for them. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't use the word shallow. I would say more visual, but continue. Whatever. Visual. Mm -hmm. um, versus women, though, we're like, okay, you know, you could be a six or seven. Mm -hmm. We ain't going lower than that. But <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You could be a six or a seven. You could have a bomb-ass personality and a yeah. great career. You know okay. what I mean? You could have... A nice family. You can okay. have good goals that match with mine. You know mm -hmm. what I mean. So, I'm my, I I don't think that's settling. Gotcha. I'm like, hey, you fit me. Yeah. Like, you don't have to be freaking. I've been with some. I've talked to some handsome, mm -hmm. buff, mm -hmm. rich, and terrible personality. Like, gotcha. Oh my god. And if they listen to country, they're out. <laughs> Wait. Well, hold on. Yeah, Wait. Sorry. What did you I just, just say? Throw that in there. <laughs> I'm about if to say. Country, they're out like no that was random as fuck that was so random <laughs> i just don't like that shit like got you music is a really big thing too okay like definitely can't be with somebody if we don't have similar taste in music like okay <laughs> that's weird but okay right i got you all right so <laughs> you would you would agree that uh on a date that a guy can raise his level of attraction um for you now for you specifically what raises attraction for you like if a guy has this it raises your attraction for him definitely have goals okay you have to have goals that are realistic okay like if you <laughs> have goals that are realistic okay if you're trying to do something you've never done before and mm -hmm. you, you're not even no one told you that you were good at it mm -hmm. i can respect it mm -hmm. but i'm like damn like you're on the other side of the spectrum, homie. Like, you need to find something that works for you. Okay. Um, definitely goals. That's one. You got to... <laughs> I'm, like, the, not a good person to be asking this. Yeah, you got to be self-aware for this. <laughs> you got to be, like... Um... Yeah, let's, let's just keep going. <laughs> All right, I got you. you She's a little nervous, me? fellas. She's <laughs> nervous. Uh, let's continue. Go on. <laughs> how the conversation flow and all that so if a woman sees you as a six you can easily raise it to an eight but it can't be no lower than that and you have to do everything right it can't be By the no second day, you need to be yeah. seeing something to increase this sexual energy if you don't it's gonna start to take on this like this testy vibe like you know she's pulling back she's not you'll just feel it now it just depends on how patient you are i give it three days guys I'm willing to give it three days. That's all I'm willing to fucking give it. But if you date a woman that has low interest in you or low attraction to you initially, it would be hard to come up with this sexual energy because her energy directly comes off into your energy. So if she's not acting like she's that interested, it's going to be hard to maintain this sexual charisma. Not saying that it can't be done because I can do it. But I'm just saying oh. to get it oh. is always <laughs> easier. It's a facts. Um, but the video is getting long, so I want to wrap it up here. Overall, what are your thoughts on what he said throughout this video of the number one thing that kills game with women? <sighs> I know at first you was like a little disagreeable, a little disagree, and then you start to come on this side a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's not wrong. Mm -hmm. I just feel like he validated everything that we already know and we don't want to agree with. Like, <laughs> Got you. I don't want to accept that you guys just, there got to be some good ones out there. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I'm so confused. Wait, what? I don't want to accept that you guys need freaking 
variety versus <laughs> quality. Got I you. don't want to accept that. Like, I don't. Well. I'm like, dang, there's some women that are raising their sons to be husbands. Mm-hmm. I hope, please, be some women that are out here. <laughs> All right, that's a different conversation. We'll have that late discussion later. But overall of this video, when it comes to raising a woman's attractiveness, when it comes to um, the masculine frame versus the goofy frame, what are your thoughts about that? I'm still gonna stick. Shit, I don't know, man. I feel Get like on. I really want to stick. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stick to, you know, mm. your personality and your sense of humor mm. is going to win in the in long the end? run. In mm. the long run. Mm. Slow and steady wins a race. Okay. And I think that, you know, there's this thing. It's, it's um, pasatiempo. That's what it's called in Spanish. It just means passing time. Okay. There's some men that are just a passing time. Okay. You know, just, and I think... He wants to be one of those men. And I would suggest you guys be the passing time too. <laughs> so where can they find you? Where can you find me? Oh, you Instagram. You can find me at Alyssa underscore Zenitram. Okay. And, or Alyssa Z Models. All right. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. If you want to finish the rest, it's, only, it's like two minutes left. You can look in the description below. If you want to follow her, the link will be in the description below as well. Join the Patreon army and I'm out. Peace.